What's up guys, Adam here. Today we're going to go through the GK Tech S13 and S14 World Center Adjusters. We're going to go through what's in the box, how to install them, and what they do. So let's get to it guys. So what's in the box? So apologies, this box is kind of wrecked, but this is how you get it. Obviously not wrecked. Um, one of the big things to note, which is kind of the mistake I made myself, make sure you get the correct part for the upright you have. So I know a lot of you guys are running S14 uprights on your S13. And some of you guys just might be running S13 uprights on your S13 if you go 5 lug. But the big thing is make sure when you order your part right here, you see how that says S14? Make sure that matches the actual kind of upright you have. So when you open the box, inside you have a bubble wrap with hardware. You just get it out here. As well as your actual GK Tech roll center adjusters for your uprights. So these were actually packaged before I've opened this already, but these also come in the same kind of bubble wrap as this. Um, if you look at it, it's really nice. Uh, it's machined in gktech.com.au, as well as you can see the uh, machining lines, which I think is personally cool. Shout out to Michael, uh, inside joke, if you don't know what that is. So these are symmetrical left to right, um, but they are mirrored. So that means that you do need to make sure that this matches the right side. So these are all the parts lined up here. So these are all the parts lined up. Cut. Okay. So these are all the parts lined up here. You see everything here is the GK Tech parts, so you have the washers, the studs for the t new tie rod location, as well as the uh, the conical spacer that goes in the roll center adjuster. Um, for the sake of the video, um, and for the sake of how my car ended up, I do have S14 uprights um, separated from the car. Uh, I will do, uh, later in this video, I will show you how to install them, but just to show you a quick video of how this works out, um, they are off the car. So, one side note is if you do see right here, on the bottom where the lower control arm would meet the tie rod, um, I'm not sure if this is true for all S14s, but my particular S14 does have this nub right here. And basically what that ultimately ends up meaning is, if I try to put my roll center adjuster on, if you see right here, the planes match, but that that nub is actually hitting. So what's gonna have to happen is in this next part, I'm actually gonna have to grind this off um, just to make sure that this will actually fit. So I'm gonna do that right now. So once you get it cut off, we're going to deburr this just to make sure it doesn't scratch us later on. And now we're going to install the roll center kit. So first you're going to want to thread this in, the smaller hole, so it doesn't fit here. It will fit here. Um, we're lucky enough that on this particular side, it just goes in finger tight, no problem. So I'm going to screw this all the way in. Yeah, but we're not done with that later, but we're still going to get the other one in. So the bigger one, this is for the lower control arm. So remember that this is, I believe, reverse thread, at least from the back. So I'm gonna screw it in hand tight. And now what I'm gonna do is, there is a hex on the back back there. And I believe it is 10 millimeters, if I'm correct. Right. And you're gonna do reverse of what's intuitive. You're actually going to go what is normally the loosening motion to get this in. So let's do that real quick. Make sure it's nice and snug. Now I'm gonna actually go back to this one and you see how it's protruding a little bit. I'm actually gonna get my eight millimeter hex and do the same thing to tighten it down. So in this case here, also, tighten it down. So as I'm putting in the stud, I want to make sure that everything is flush, right? So you see how 
I can adjust that in and out. So there's a reason why I can actually thread it in further. And same thing with here, so you see that. So before you put it in, make sure you put the tapered collar in. And now I want to install it right here. Oops. Tapered collar in right here. Tie rod in. And I just want to make sure that this mating surface is flush before I put more nuts in. So, let's see, right now it's flush, but I can loosen this, and you see how it's backed out now. So, make sure it's fully flush before proceeding. So right here it's flush, and you can see on the tie rod end, or the LCA end, it's also flush or it's actually not, so. I'm going to want to put this screw in a little further. Let's make sure it actually is flush. Now it's flush. So what I can do now is for this side, while putting this here, I can thread the big nut in, right? So this is a 21 or 22, I believe. And you just want to get that decently tight. I'll be good. All right, that's tight. And we move on to the tie rod end. So the tie rod end on this particular side, same thing. Put the small nut in. Screw it on. This one is, I believe, a 17. So we're going to put the 17 in. And I'm going to hold in that socket with the 7mm Allen head. So I'll put that in right there. And tighten this sucker down. And tight. That should be about 50 foot pounds, or no, this should be about 30 foot pounds, and this should be about 50 to 60 foot pounds. And this part is complete. So now this unit is ready to go in the car, and we'll give you 30 degree, 20 degrees, sorry, 20 meter millimeters of roll center correction. So remember, this washer does go here before going completely on. So yeah, now to do the other one, same exact process.